To find the oxidation numbers for each element here in HBrO, hypobromous acid, we'll use these rules here. First thing to notice, there's no negative or positive sign after HBrO. So because of that, this is a neutral compound and all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. That's important. Next, we look down, we see hydrogen bonded you know, to the nonmetals here. So hydrogen and nonmetals, that's going to be a plus one. So this will be plus one for the hydrogen. Bromine, normally that's in group 17. The halogens, we think of it as being negative one, except there are a few cases where it's not, when it's bonded to more electronegative elements like this oxygen and fluorine. We really don't know what its oxidation number is going to be. Let's just call it X. Oxygen, that's going to be minus two. So all of this adds up to the zero here. So we can just set up an equation. One plus X minus two equals zero. So X, this is minus one equals zero. And then X will equal a positive one. So the oxidation state on that bromine now is going to be a plus one. And you probably could have figured that out without the algebra here, but it's good to know how to do this. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for each element in HBRO, hypobromous acid. Thanks for watching.